welcome to my channel in this video here i will tell you why the fire tv second generation box is still relevant today after this first off before i get started uh please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you will be informed when i upload a new video and press that like button comment now let's get to the reason why this box is still relevant today now this fire tv box here was released in april of 2014 that's been five years ago However, with that being said, it's still the only Fire TV that is a box. And what I mean by a box is based on the connections. So these are the connection options that you have on this box here. You have the Wi-Fi connection. Of course, you have that. With that being said, you also have the Ethernet which gives you a better and a more solid connection. But that being said, this one still have a good Wi-Fi chip in it. Now, the local area network, which is the Ethernet cord that connects to this is an RJ-45, which is a solid connection, which means you will get straight connection from your router, to the back of this box here, which means you will have no buffering, if any at all, it will be minimal, and you will have a solid connection. Your streaming experience will be much, much, much more better compared to Wi-Fi, well, to some Wi-Fi, and then again, it's still dependent on your connection, your network. Processor specs here. They still have a good processor in it. Processor is a quad core. It's a MediaTek quad core with up to two gigahertz speed dual core at 2.0 gigahertz, and then go all the way up to 2.4 gigahertz. Now the uh, graphic processor is powered by a VR chip. The GX6250, and it comes with a storage of 8 gigabyte. That's 8 gigabyte internal storage on this box right here. Now, even on your new Fire Stick 4K, you don't get that many or that much. So, with that being said, you can expand your memory up to 128 gigabytes. I have an SD card in here. It's a 60 gigabyte or a 64 gigabyte card. So that's more than enough storage than I would need for downloading, streaming, and things of that nature. Now, with that being said, let's go over the audio formats that this right here support. It supports PCM, lossless it supports it supports OGG Vorbis MP3 flat AC3 AAC dash LC and EC3 which is basically all of your lossless 5.1 7.1 and your digital true surround audio and you will only notice that if you have an external surround sound system other than that, you will still hear the quality, the good quality of the audio codec in the format that this particular unit put out. Now, the video format that this right here uh, support is H.264 and H.265. Of course, your MPEG 4 and of course, your DivX and things of that nature, just to name a few. And your, 40, your photo formats, BMP, your uh, GIF, your JPEGs, and your PNG. 
The resolution goes all the way up from 1920 by 1080 to 3840 by 2160, which is 4K. All right. So this is still a very, very great streamer. Uh, yes, you can add other things to it. I'm not going to get into that. Not really. But things such as, you know, start with a K. I'm not going to say that word because I don't want my video to get uh, demonetized or I don't want to get any strikes. But you know what some people get this unit for. However, it is basically a great streaming device. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to tell you that the apps that comes with this. So the apps that you can get that's already preloaded with this here. Okay, the apps that are preloaded already is going to be this right here. It's going to be Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, HBO Go, Pandora, and Amazon Instant. That's what's preloaded. Or let's just say that's the supported ones. Then you can even download ones, the apps that you can download for this. Like I said, then you got Netflix, YouTube, Pandora, Hulu Plus, Bloomberg, NBA, Crackle, TuneIn, Vimeo, Flickster, Red Bull TV, Howard Radio, Amazon Instant Video, HBO Go, Amazon Prime Instant Video, Showtime Anytime, and much, much more. So, with that being said, peoples, I'm telling you this. <laughs> Do not sleep. A lot of people still want this box here. However, you know Amazon, they always release a new device every, what, six months? I still have mine way back from 2014. I have the new Fire Stick 4K. I have the other 4K before that. I have the Octagon 4K. I have the Cube, and I have an NVIDIA Shield. Them are my streaming devices. And I will get into the user interface after this quick break here. Alright, now this is what you're paying for, what you're watching for. Alright, here are the apps that's preloaded that I was telling you about earlier. These are the apps. I just go through them. Some of them. You can pause, rewind for it just to see. I'm showing you some of the apps that's already installed, come pre-installed things of that nature. Now these are some of the apps that I've installed on my own. Here, let me show you. One of them would be, now, <clears throat> one of them is going to be Cinema HD. A lot of people don't know what Cinema HD. Well, a lot of people know what Cinema HD is. With that being said, that being said, you have the Cinema HD ad free version, which I have, and then you have the Cinema HD with the ads. To each his own. Anyway, this is Cinema HD, people. For those who don't already know, that's where you get your movies, TV shows, things of that nature. I'm not going to go into detail. I'm not going to go into detail. I can't show you how it works because I do not want to get no copyright strikes, like I said earlier. Then again, maybe I can show you one. Let's see here. Let's show you da 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 da. Click, click, click. Let's go to glass. And what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to turn down the volume, and I can't show you much. All right. So with that being said, glass. Let's go into glass. And I had to turn down the audio, of course. Now some people chips me out. I was talking with somebody yesterday. <laughs> on the book and uh, they were talking about they seen um, John Wick. I said, well, you ain't seen, you should have seen John Wick in the theaters. Uh, you ain't seen no good copy. Yes, I did. They're going to me up and down that they're seeing a good copy. I've been in the movie scene groups for good law for over 12 years. I've seen, I've screened that movie that you watch on your fire stick or whatever. And I knew it was garbage. So you can't tell me that. But anyway, just to show you, this is glass here, 12 years. I've seen, 
I've screened that movie that you watch on your fire stick or whatever. And I knew it was garbage. So you can't tell me that. But anyway, just to show you, this is glass too, right? And notice how quick. No buffering, no nothing. I won't stop it. I won't forward it. See here? That's Cinema HD at work right there. And I know some of you use, look, anytime it comes to anything dealing with electronics, technology, movies, TV shows, software, hardware, anything, if I don't know it, and I'm not pulling my legs here, I'm not bragging, but if I don't know it, then, hey, it is what it is. But with that being said, <laughs> you can't tell me what's out and something that look good or whatever. I know what a cam is. I know what a DVD screen is. I know what 4K, I mean, 4K is. I know what uh, up-converted Blu-ray stream. I know what all this stuff is. You can't tell me that. So do you just wasting your time trying to debate me when you tell me, oh, I got a good copy. I already seen your copy before you got it. I'm in the group. I've been in the group for, like I said, for over 12 years. So you ain't seen nothing that I can't see or I haven't seen. I know much more tips and advanced technology where I can see it before you even get to the United States. But I ain't going to go into all that. But anyway, with that being said, that was that. Let's go into another one. Now, what a lot of you like to do too, you, you like to watch that stuff that just came out and is in the movie. Like John Wick Chapter 3. <laughs> I was talking with this person. That's the person who was talking about this movie. You ain't going to sit there and they're going to tell me that it was a good copy of John Wick chapter three, not. No, that's a cam. That is a cam. The only time that you will get a copy is a DVD screener. And that usually come award season, like uh, the Oscars and things like that. But it used to be more rampant, but it's not these days. So you can't tell me. I'm not gonna click on no John Wick and watch no cam John Wick version when I can go to the theaters and watch a great copy of it. Really? But, you know, like I say, again, to each his own. If you want to watch John Wick Chapter 3, and I say, wow, I already see what you watched. And you're going to tell me that it is a good copy? Well, if you got a little bit of TV, or you got a tube TV, then yeah, it probably show decent because the resolution don't have to be expanded much. But other than that, no, nah, you can watch the crap copy. But some people, you know, as long as they can see it and it's dark and see people walking through it and hear people laughing and stuff, they're good with it. Oh, well, <laughs> that's on you. But look, like I say, my mission was to tell you and show you that the Fire TV second generation is still relevant. And I just showed you why. So with that being said, y'all have a blessed day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell so you'll know when I upload a new video. Hit that like button, comment, and have a blessed day. Until next time, out.